Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 829. Now, this episode right here um, was actually pretty simple, if anything. So, if anything else, let's go. We had to it that um, Capone and Bedge, along with the rest of the Straw Hats and Jinbei, are going over their plan where Luffy will become the bait. And eventually, after breaking that picture, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure if you guys read the manga or if you even watched the episode, which I highly recommend you do before you watch any review or recap of One Piece of anyone who's still doing it, such as me, um, are... Just like I'm going over their plans, getting ready to kill Big Mom, and the tea party will start in a couple hours. Make it one, make it two hours, if anything. But, you know, in terms of logics, etc., it goes by faster. We all know that. We had to it that Bulbin is apparently really killed. Although, like him, I thought he might survive, but I guess he's really been killed by um, Capone Ben subordinate. I was kind of doubtful about that because it's a shonen, etc., but I guess it is. Oh well. Well, Bulbin's killed. Montoria, Montor is actually upset about this. And Sanji managed to get back to his room and convince Sanji. And Sanji managed to get back in his room in time and convinces Montor and the Nasu eggplant, egg, egg, eggplant guy um, about what's up. And of course, the every island is celebrating that they're happy and the Vinsmoke family gets ready. Big Mom is upset and crying because Brooke is dead, which she does not, can't even tell the difference. And we add to it that Prometheus and Zeus says, oh, it's a shame, but, um, you know, you get a wedding cake, you know? And they all get happy, blah, blah, blah. Peckham gets upset and getting tied up saying, what the hell you guys are doing? And, and we add to it that, like, um, what you may call it, there's a pass where Jinbei explains to his crew that there is something that I have to tell you guys. I need you guys to escape from here. I wanted to leave Big Mom's crew, but I decided to take it back due to the fact that rolling that roulette is like death or something. Blah, blah, blah. And therefore, everyone understands and they tell Jinbei to watch over his life while they all get ready to go back to Fishman Island because knowing that if Big Mom finds out that they leave the island or break up the alliance with Big Mom, they'll be killed along with like on Fishman Island to be attacked. Eventually, the Vin Smoke family gets ready while Sanji and the others, along with Pudding, gets ready for the wedding and they all about to get ready to get slaughtered each other. Well, not exactly. Big Mom is getting ready to see to it that the slaughter will begin. We all know what she is and if you've been up to date with the manga and up to date with the anime, you will know what is about to happen. Aside from that, um, yeah. Um, anyways, like I said, this episode was really simplistic in less than five minutes of what I've been giving you guys. Like I said, Component Ben's preparing his assassination plan, going over it, Luffy getting ready for a big surprise, Big Mom waking up, and everyone, yeah, getting happy for the wedding, and Vince Smoke family going to the wedding, Sanji getting ready. That's pretty much about it. Next episode of the preview... I'm pretty sure we get to see him once again. And I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about. He was already introduced early, and it's Katakuri. And those of you guys who are anime only and been watching the opening, etc. And, and if you think that everyone's really loving Katakuri, and you think we're just crazy idiots or something, you'll understand what, what this guy is really capable of once you see him more in the future, which I look forward to. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot.